हेलो क्लास टेंथ आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन द जी एस टी टर्म थ्रू द लिंक एंड थ्रू द ऑडियो आई थिंक यू पीपल नो हाउ टू सॉल्व द जी एस टी प्रॉब्लम बट सम स्टूडेंट हैविंग प्रॉब्लम अबाउट जी एस टी की हाउ कैन यू फाइंड आउट हाउ हाउ वी कैन फाइंड आउट द आई जी एस टी और आई टी सी डोंट बी डोंट बी कन्फ्यूज अबाउट आई जी एस टी एंड आई टी सी बोथ आर द सेम ओके द क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन द टाइप ऑफ ए क्वेश्चन विल बी डिफरेंट इट मीन्स इन सम क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन विल बी कि हाउ मच जी एस टी वी हैव टू पे एंड इन सम क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द आई जी एस टी एंड इन द सम क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट आई टी सी बट थ्री आर द टाइप ऑफ अ क्वेश्चन थ्री आर द सेम इट मीन्स वेन यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द जी एस टी पे when you have to find out the itc and when you have to find out the igst so you will do the same process clear uh, in the last audio i explain the itc itc in the sense of the difference between output and input it means igst equals to output tax minus input tax clear so uh, before solving the question first you have to see ki what you have to find out if you have to find out the igst then it means in the question first you have to find out the output tax and then you have to find out the input tax clear it means when you will get input or a output tax then you can find out your igst because according to the formula igst equals to output tax minus input tax clear and output tax tax on selling price sp and input tax is tax on cost price and cost price in the sense of when you are buying something okay now i am explaining one or a two question behalf of this uh, these two question you can do uh, your remaining question and if you have any problem then you can ask on my personal number now you have a question number 4 now see you have a question number 4 mr salim a biscuit manufacturer buys raw goods worth rupees 1 lakh 40000 from different markets within the state gst at the rate of 5% clear all now he sold packet biscuit worth rupees 2 lakh 10500 in the markets of the neighboring state rate of gst on packet biscuit in 12% find the amount of igst payable by him now in each question first you will see ki what parties you have given and what you have to find out because in both of part the relation is height okay now find the amount of a igst it means igst nikalna hai it means you have to find out output tax minus input tax clear this you have to find out it means first you have to find out output or a input ya fir input or a output it means you need output as well as input clear and output tax on selling sale input tax on cost price cost price is in the sense of buy buy in the sense of purchase clear now move to the question mr salim a biscuit manufacturing buys 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 it means that is your cost price buys raw material good for rupees 1 lakh 40000 okay and for 1 lakh 40000 he is selling raw material for rupees 1 lakh 40000 and for 1 lakh 40000 he is giving gst at the rate of 5% clear ki 1 lakh 40000 from different market within the state gst at the rate of 5% so you can find out buys in the sense of cost price and cost price in the sense of input clear it means in the first part you can find out your input tax so mr salim buys raw goods for a biscuit 
वन लैख फोर्टी थाउजेंड जी एस टी इक्वल्स टू फाइव परसेंट इनपुट जी एस टी इक्वल्स टू फाइव परसेंट ऑफ वन लैख फोर्टी थाउजेंड सो आफ्टर कैलकुलेशन यू कैन फाइंड आउट योर इनपुट जी एस टी एंड सेवन थाउजेंड एज योर इनपुट जी एस टी क्लियर नाउ इन द सेकेंड पार्ट ही सोल्ड He sold, sale sold, sold packet biscuits worth rupees two lakh ten thousand five hundred in the market of the neighboring state, and the rate of the GST is twelve percent. Clear? Sale in the sense of selling price, and sale it means output tax. And for two lakh ten thousand, he is paying GST as a twelve percent. So. For second part, you can find your output tax. Output tax because of sold, because of uh, he is selling the biscuits. Now in the second part, the cost, the sorry, the selling price of a biscuit in the market equals to two lakh ten thousand five hundred, and GST equals to twelve percent. So you can find out your output GST. कि ट्वेल्व परसेंट ऑफ टू लैख टेन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड सो आफ्टर कैलकुलेशन योर आउटपुट जी एस टी इज ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी रुपीज क्लियर यू हैव फाइंड इनपुट जी एस टी एंड आउटपुट जी एस टी एंड यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द अमाउंट ऑफ आई जी एस टी एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू द फॉर्मूला कि आई जी एस टी इक्वल्स टू आउटपुट टैक्स माइनस इनपुट टैक्स क्लियर Output tax tax on selling price. Input tax tax on cost price. Cost price in the sense of when you are buying. So by putting the value of output tax and input tax, so your IGST equals to eighteen thousand two hundred and sixty. Clear all of you? Okay. Now one more question I am teaching. Question number. Nine. Question number nine. Uh, Mrs. Sarita buys goods worth rupees six thousand five hundred from Easy Day Store. Mr. Sarita buys buys for some product six thousand five hundred. Clear. She gets a rebate rebate in the sense of discount of ten percent on five thousand as a member. And a flat discount of fifty rupees on the remaining. It means uh, the shopkeeper divided six thousand five hundred into two part. One is five thousand because of a member, and the remaining part and remaining part you can find out six five uh, six thousand five hundred minus five thousand, and remaining will be fifteen hundred. And for fifteen hundred, flat discount is rupees fifty. Clear. If the GST is charged eighteen percent, and uh, she is GST, she is giving GST at the rupees of at the rate of eighteen percent. Clear. So you have to find out the amount she has to pay for the goods amount, and the amount will be where's the uh, when you will uh, uh, find out the amount when you have a list price plus. GST for list price clear. This you have to find out. Then first you will find out the list price. Ki how much money she will give. Okay. Then according to the question, uh, the the Mrs. Sarita buys six thousand five hundred rupees and it divided into two part. One is five thousand and the remaining remaining in the sense of when you will subtract. Five thousand from six thousand five hundred, then you will get the remaining part. If you will add these two part, then you will get six thousand five hundred. Clear? And according to the situation, in five thousand, the rebate or a discount is ten percent, and the remaining fifteen hundred discount is fifty rupees. Clear? So, after calculation, the first part. The price will be five thousand, and for five thousand, the discount will be ten percent. Then you can solve. Uh, I have done directly that five thousand into one minus ten upon hundred. Okay. Otherwise, you can calculate 
फर्स्ट यू विल यू कैन फाइंड आउट द डिस्काउंट की फाइव थाउजेंड इंटू टेन अपॉन हंड्रेड देन सब्सट्रैक्ट फ्रॉम फाइव थाउजेंड एंड आई हैव डन डायरेक्टली क्लियर सो आफ्टर कैलकुलेशन द प्राइस विल बी फोर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड इट मीन फाइव थाउजेंड पे कितने का डिस्काउंट मिला उसे फाइव हंड्रेड का क्लियर नाउ इन द सेकेंड पार्ट द प्राइस विल बी फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड एंड फॉर फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड द डिस्काउंट इज फिफ्टी रुपीज सो द प्राइज विल बी फोर्टीन फिफ्टी ओके सो द टोटल प्राइज आफ्टर डिस्काउंट विल बी फोर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड प्लस फोर्टीन फिफ्टी सो द प्राइज विल बी फाइव नाइन फाइव जीरो फाइव थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी एंड जी एस टी इक्वल्स टू एटीन परसेंट एंड You have to find out that the find the amount she has to pay for the goods, and the amount she has to pay for the goods will be amount equals to list price plus GST on list price, and the list price is five nine five zero or a five thousand nine hundred and fifty. GST is eighteen percent. Then you can calculate, okay? And this you can calculate by yourself, and you can see the calculation. Then after calculation, the amount will be seven thousand twenty one rupees. So she has to pay amount after including GST is seven thousand twenty one rupees. So clear. Thank you.